name is Dave McMenamin. I'm a 2005 graduate of Syracuse University where I majored in newspaper journalism. Now I work for ESPNLosAngeles.com as a Lakers beat writer. I'm also an analyst for Time Warner Cable Sportsnet covering the Lakers. So that is why we are standing in, what's this called, LA Live? This is LA Live. This is uh, where it's happening, kind of the, the Times Square of Los Angeles. And give me a little bit of a, uh, an idea of, is this what you thought you wanted to do when you were uh, studying in those halls of Newhouse? Was this living the dream for you? Yeah, this is it's pretty close to it. Uh, Kim, I'm telling you, like, basketball and writing have always been my two passions, so I was able to marry them. And uh, I never thought I'd ever live in Los Angeles, but actually through Syracuse, I, my first opportunity to come to L.A. as a sophomore through a, a writing program with the L.A. Times. And uh, little did I know, this has now been my home for the last four years, so it's, uh, it's pretty good. So to a student who's sitting in a, in a classroom at Newhouse today saying, that's what I want to do. You know, I want to follow in Dave's footsteps. I want to make that happen. What do they need to learn now to make them able to do this or a job similar when they graduate? Well, I mean, if you want to be a writer, you better be a reader. I think that's the number one thing I'd say. Be informed. Read everybody who's out there. Uh, it's not just about reading and knowing facts. It's reading different styles. So you can form your own voice. Also, like where we live in today, there's LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, make yourself have an online presence. Reach out to alumni. We have a great alumni base. Um, make sure that you, you are going above and beyond at every step. It's, I, I assume if you're already at Newhouse, you're in Syracuse, you already know what you want to do, so you're ahead of the game. So now that you know what you want to do, just dive in head first and take every opportunity that's available to you. When you got out of school, Twitter did not exist, or at least it was not used at all. How has that changed your job, your day-to-day? -day? How do you use Twitter um, and what you do? Yeah, I'm going to date myself. Facebook didn't exist until <laughs> my senior year of college, and which is crazy to think about. Uh, yeah, Twitter is it's an amazing tool uh, because as, as reporters, we have certain outlets to give our information. We, we can write a Q&A or a profile story or a straight-up news story or a column on a game. But Twitter kind of gives a place for all those little extra items that you have in your notebook that wouldn't live anywhere else otherwise. So that's great. And also, it's a great promotional tool. Like when I write a story, I can put up the link and I have a dedicated following that are interested in that story. And business-wise too, that gives more traffic to the stories that I write and that makes my bosses happy. So it's really an amazing tool. It's, it's connected me to a lot of alumni, it's connected me to you know, flee from Red Hot Chili Peppers yeah. Lakers fan, he follows me, so a awesome. little name drop, <laughs> but I mean, that's kind of amazing too, uh, it's just an amazing tool. When you talk about connections and networking, you are obviously reached out to all the time in the nature of your job, yeah. what are those networking emails or requests that stick out to you, who are the people that you want to help, what should a student know about, about reaching out to alumni, what works and what doesn't? Well, I mean, when I get an email or a Facebook message from someone I've never spoken to before, I have no idea who they are, and one of the first questions is, can I get a job? It's, I don't respond to that Facebook message or email. But I've had I've had some alumni, while they're, well, actually, not alumni, well, kids in school, students in school, those are the ones I've really responded to because it's, they're doing their due diligence, they're reaching out, they're asking questions, um, they're just gaining knowledge. And the, the thing is, when you're in a job search and you sound desperate, that, you don't tend to get a job, but if you are preparing yourself way before you're trying to get a job search and just learning about the business, you're setting yourself up when you do search for that job, the right door should open. Awesome. To wrap it up, any experience you had at SU that outside of the bars that uh, you know, <laughs> that you think students need to take advantage of while they're in school? Uh, no. I mean, well, first of all, I mean, I'm a big sports fan, so Syracuse Athletics, just realize how special it is. Uh, we won the national championship as my, my sophomore year. In basketball, the lacrosse team is fantastic. That sense of community is unrivaled in any place I've lived. Um, and I think that's amazing. But, you know, just, just be cognizant of what's around you. I mean, you have the best student newspaper in the country, in my opinion. Uh, you have amazing peers with amazing talents. Make sure you make connections, because like the, my people that I was friends with and, and peers with in college, like they're my lifetime friends. And they're people I lean on, the people I learn from. And start making, don't, don't be isolated. Immerse yourself in everything that's going on. Fantastic. Dave McMenamin, class of 2005. We'll let you get in to cover that Lakers game tonight. Right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Thanks. Dave.